Yeah, this is probably going to be a failure, boys. Just letting you know now, but believe. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a super interesting and pretty difficult start as the nation of Navarra. Navarra is a nation that's located in Iberia, the only one province minor in Iberia and the only Basque culture nation in the game. We start off with King Juan II de Tastamara right here, who's also the Aragonian heir, and Navarran ideas are actually pretty good for naval-focused gameplay. We start off with plus one diplorap and plus 10% morale damage, which, uh, what kind of modifier is that? Is that just morale? No, I don't think it is. Either way, we finish off with with plus one naval leader fire and in the meantime we have plus 15 percent morale of navies and plus five percent ship durability then we have plus 33 percent naval force limit plus five percent discipline yearly inflation reduction and admin free policies sailors and marines lots of double ideas here a 10 percent tech discount and a 10 percent culture conversion cost and minus 15 percent dev cost in primary culture provinces so navarran ideas really really good actually and pretty underrated if you ask me of course navarra as the ai never succeeds they either get vassalized by Castile or they get PU'd by Aragon and by later in the game they just stop existing and the start right here being sandwiched between Castile, Aragon and pretty much England and France over here is not easy at all. So we'll definitely need to up our Diplo game and maybe our military prowess as well to kickstart this campaign. But what do we do as Navarra? Well considering I don't have the Basque and Glory achievement that requires you to be Navarra and convert the entirety of Iberia to Basque culture that is probably the only thing that we can do today now remember trying to do this achievement like five or six years ago i didn't succeed even though i did manage to pu aragon so uh, maybe today we'll have more luck if not i'm just gonna have to do something else so let's jump in as navara and try to get that achievement all right all right here we are as navara now how the heck do we have four free diplomats here what? Oh, we have a unique government reform. Apparently, the courts of Navarra minus two diplomat plus one diplomat cost of advisors with rulers culture and nobles influence. Sure, we'll take that. I guess it's, you know, a sort of a monarchy right here. So, uh, yeah, Navarra does have missions here, too. We get like uh, restoration of Union CB on France, which I don't know if we'll get to do that. But uh, yeah, pretty much the start right here is trying to find allies. And then when this guy right here dies and basically this guy right here, uh, Aragon's heir and our ruler, we gain a PUC be on Aragon so you know we'll see if we can take advantage of that and we we have a parliament why do we have a parliament as Navarra all right let me take a look at this and then we'll uh yeah do the estate setup and try and find allies okay I got this from the parliament now let me do the estate setup all right all right estate stuff done for now I guess now let's take a look at the situation here okay uh, Castile is actually friendly right at the start Aragon of course wants to eat us friends mm, who are the rivals here maybe I should set my attitude towards Aragon as threatened and towards England as well this might help me ally like France or something like that I think we'll definitely need these guys on our side and even though Castile is friendly now I think if they send us a vassalization offer and we reject that they'll become angry uh either way let's try and look for a diplorep guy the loans are so small Jesus Christ uh oh, no diplorep guy either this is actually gonna suck here I am gonna get this guy lower army maintenance max out root out corruption and uh take this army right here let's see let's get rid of the horse get get no one because we don't have money apparently and uh yeah Turn off the fort, I guess. Ah, it's a level one fort. Okay, let's uh tell let's put a guy in Champagne, tell him to collect, put a guy in Sevilla, tell him to collect. We'll tell these guys to establish communities. Meanwhile, I will analyze a steel, start improving with France, uh scornfully insult Aragon, and I'll start improving with the Pope as well, and maybe Portugal too. Oh, we can Royal Mary Portugal, that's really nice. Nice. Stab immediately. There's a Royal Marriage with Castile too. I think I should be able to ally Portugal. We'll see what happens with France, though. Oh, they are rivaling Aragon. Yeah. Oh, we can ally Burgundy. Hmm. Now, that does give us potential for the, uh, what you call it, the Burgundian succession, and they've rivaled Aragon. I think I have to go for this, man. I don't think I'll be able to link with the Pope since uh, Castile hates them, uh, so I'll start improving, or, or actually currying favors with Castile and Burgundy immediately. Okay, guaranteed by Aragon, that really doesn't change much. Thanks, Castile. So far, Aragon's only allied Brittany, which is good. Ah, uh, there it is. Actually happened kind of earlier than I thought it would. Okay, so now they're gonna lose Naples, but uh, there it is. There's the, basically the AI always chooses this option, right? But uh, we're gonna choose Navarra should lead this union. We got a restoration of union CB on Aragon and they get one on us. 
And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, let's hope this alliance situation with Aragon stays the same. They lose Naples, and I get favors with Castile and Burgundy fast. Main war actually didn't happen, which is kind of good for us. Oh, they've allied Castile. And, uh, yeah, Naples is free now. Both Burgundy and Castile would join with favors, which is excellent. I can just tell these guys to do everything. I don't even have to do anything myself. And since this is the CB, uh, Barcelona will get transferred to me, and I can PU them. So, uh, yeah. Okay, start for now. Let's see what happens. Interesting. So, France declared on Brittany in Aragon. Yeah, oh, this is perfect so far. I just need to create favors faster, which isn't really possible. What's this option right here? Peace, Statesman, Stab 2. I just got stabbed from an event. Prestige and... Oh, sure. Uh, I think Castile is preparing to declare on Aragon, man. Because they still have a truce with Granada and they're standing here. Unless they're, you know, sort of guarding themselves from these rebels, but... Uh, yeah. There's the alliance with Portugal as well. This is good. Yeah, very nice. Oh, France actually took land from Aragon, man. They, they took Barcelona, in fact. Uh, now their capital is Valencia. So I guess this is sort of good for us. Less AE, maybe? Even though it's not really that relevant. But yeah, it should be an easy war either way. Oh, and Aragon has no troops. Oh, look at Castile's allies, dude. This is gonna be... Uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy beating them up later, man. Uh, I think the start isn't gonna be hard, but later on it is. Rick, I hope I get the Burgundian succession, man. That's definitely gonna help us out a lot. Either way, there's 10 favors with Castile as well. I can finally fire this guy, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and declare on Aragon immediately. I'll call in Burgundy and Castile. I don't think I'm even gonna do anything in this war. There's the restoration of Union. Take capital Valencia. Oh. Oh. That's a very good Enrique right there. Now, this is good. Uh, by the way, Castile has occupied Valencia, which I didn't think could happen with this CB, but I can still form a union. And Aragon also declared, uh, got declared on by Naples, which means once I PU Aragon, I'll end up in a defensive war versus Naples. And I can once again call in all my boys right here, go ahead and beat up Naples, and actually take stuff from them over here myself in order to grow my own power base if I can. I don't think I can, actually. I'm landlocked. Uh, we'll see what happens. Tier 2 got reform time with the minus 10% nobles influence. Obviously, we can go with the plus 10% nobles influence and plus 10% manpower. So, uh, strength and noble privileges. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Just peaced out Savoy. Now, I really think Castile will break the alliance with me if I PU Aragon here. But I'll still be with Portugal and with Burgundy, which should be enough to deter them from doing anything. Now... Yeah, depends on who rivals me on who would support Aragon's independence. And we got to rush for influence ideas too. So Aragon still losing to Naples. Let's go ahead and uh, form a union with Aragon and uh, take all their money, which I'm not going to get a lot of, I assume. Yeah, I only get six ducats. So let's actually not take Aragon's money. Nah, I think that's it. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Aragon is a junior partner. We're fighting Naples now. Let's go ahead and call in Burgundy, call in Portugal, and call in Castile. Uh, Yeah. I think I should get that land over here. Either way, Aragonese inheritance per claim on the entirety of Iberia. Let's go ahead and fight Naples now. I can take land from them. That's great. I did actually not see the AE here. Ooh, not that good. I gotta start deving for the Renaissance here. Uh, it has spawned, and we do want to get a high dev province. It'll help us keep, um, what you call, Aragon loyal. Yeah. All right, well, at least I got Aragon to a positive opinion. So if this guy dies, they won't break free. They're still 100% disloyal, but... At least they like me. Uh, we beat up Naples. Let me take a look at the AE situation. Okay, we're done with uh, Naples here. This is sort of what I want to take, man. You know, connect our land with Aragon down here and also Naples, which is uh, pretty important. That's only 42 AE like this. Uh, no reconquest or anything like that. And a coalition, Naples, England, Venice. Nah, a coalition won't form because uh, Naples can't join it. So yeah, pretty aggressive start right here. But, you know, we got to establish a power base. The only thing I'm really worried about here is Aragon trying to declare um, independence. So uh, yeah, that's our war with Naples done. I think after this, we are going to have to chill for quite a bit because uh, A, not looking that good. But after that, mm, try and fight Granada somehow. We do have claims on them. Or yeah, maybe expand in Italy as well. Let's at least try and get Aragon loyal. I'm only gonna rival uh, Granada, Clemson, and uh, yeah, only them. I don't want to get any European rivals for now. Let's go ahead and uh, pour everything one by one. And by the way, I think the realistic way moving forward is uh, to somehow try and ally France, make Portugal and France end their alliances with Castile, and then fight Castile. Yeah, because look, look. You know what, at least the Iberian wedding can't happen, so. Good thing we did this fast, too. No one ever asked uh, for me to be their vassal. Hey, this is actually a really nice event, man. Nice big burger loans now. I can buff up my army over here, because uh, Neapolitan guys are about to pop out, man.
By the way, I'm helping Castile fight Granada. I couldn't occupy anything because I'm over here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, who else can I link? Ruler just died, I think. Yeah, let's Royal Mary Burgundy immediately again. Finally, the Renaissance, dude. First idea, uh, group time, obviously influence uh, to keep a hold of our subject Aragon over here and maybe potential future subjects, but also influence has a policy with, uh, where is it? Let me find it right here with religious, I think. Yeah, for minus 15% culture conversion cost. And we're going to be going with religious anyway because of the minus 25% culture conversion cost. So uh, yeah. And yeah, we're going to chill for quite a bit now. Two more years and we'll start really making points with Enrique right here. And after that, we'll see what we'll go uh still no luck on allying any other big nations like france i tried to go for poland too uh, and yeah truce with aragon is up now people can support their independence let's see if it actually happens mm, sure florence is supporting aragon this this isn't really a big deal oh and clemson yeah i'm not worried about those guys man i just don't want someone like france or england or the ottomans doing it you know now I wonder, uh, if I set these provinces as provinces of interest, will Aragon spy on Tlemcen? Because if I want to fight them, Castile and Aragon would help. Or you know what? We're not doing anything, man. They're just allied to the Gurt and Fizan. Oh, they, they little, okay, they were building a claim while I did that. So, you know what? Let me set all of Tlemcen as provinces of interest. And, uh, let's go ahead and declare. Castile and Portugal, we'll call them in. If they occupy something, I won't give it to them. But, uh, if anything is transferred over to me, I'll probably take it. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and uh, full state some things over here to get stronger. Speaking of stronger, I definitely need some transports, man. <sighs> okay, this is done. Just peaced out Togurt and Fezan. I kind of wanted them. Uh, I kind of wanted to make them my vassals, but uh, it's gonna be too much AE because I'm gonna full annex Clemson because Portugal and Castile, my dear boys, don't desire anything here. Everything has been transferred over to me, and I didn't even do anything. I just stood in Naples and built boats the whole time. So uh, let's go ahead and full annex Clemson. Uh, I won't take their money because, um, well, there is no money to take. It's just gonna go to, well, I guess I'll get 11 ducats. So, uh, there we go. That's that. Perfect. Soon we can fight Morocco, get the gold mine, fight Tunis. Everything right here is super nice. And, uh, let's go ahead and trade company everything over there in order to not deal with the religious unity penalties. Okay, cool. Looking good for now. Ooh, Basque, Basque Marines. Right, well, I'm not gonna be using Marines, so I'll just go for the galley combat here, even though I don't have, uh... <laughs> Even though I don't have any galleys. Coming in very nicely, although that prestige hit actually... Did I honestly become a great power as Navara? <laughs> 20 years into the game. Either way, uh, the prestige hit from this might hurt us when trying to go for the Burgundian inheritance. I still don't know how Burgundy calculates that, but of course, uh, that's not something we can miss. I like that. No way. Dude, this is so little A. We could practically full annex them here. It's just I still have a truce with them until um, two years. Let's hope this guy stays excommunicated. Interesting. Very interesting. This should help a bit. Now, I have the option for an alliance with Austria. They are... Castile's rivals. Yeah, I allied them. Uh, Castile broke their alliance with me, not because I allied Austria, though, because they claim my throne. Okay, this is really good. Austria actually has Hungary in my game, which I just noticed. They'll probably get Bohemia, too. Bohemia has weak allies, which is gonna be really good. Even if Austria actually gets Burgundy, I won't be mad about that at all. Truce with Naples is up. As soon as I deal with these guys, I think I'll fight them. First of these, let's go with this. Okay, let's declare on Naples with the excommunicated ruler CB. This should be very little aggressive expansion. So let's declare for Avellino right there and call in the boy Burgundy. Finding Florence too now, which means no one's supporting Aragon. They're still at 100%, but we should keep bringing them down. I think once I take this and expand over here a little bit as well if I can, they'll uh, start being loyal. Oh! That's sick. They're super disloyal, but hey, we'll take it. <laughs> God, I hope this doesn't backfire, man. Oh, how do I get Burgundy loyal? At least they're not counting uh, each other, you know, together. Okay, now I need even more allies. This could actually enable me to ally Poland. Yes, yes, I'll definitely be able to do that. I'll save this for later when I annex Aragon. Okay, but now with the disloyal Burgundy, I'm actually hoping for the horse event. Scotland is supporting Aragon. <laughs> Scotland. Tier 3 thingy, there was a subject thing here. Now, this is mostly for vassals, but I definitely can use the plus one diplo relations here. So let's go with that. Okay, so the emperor demands the low countries. I actually forgot about this. And even if I didn't forget, the thing is, once you get Burgundy, you're supposed to get as many allies as you can. Now, oh, 
I either give this up or Austria declares on me. No, they will declare. They're pretty strong, man. I actually can't beat them. Frick. I don't know what to do here. You know what? A reasonable request. There we go. I'm gonna back down. At least Burgundy might become loyal like this, so... Yeah. If Austria was in this war with me, that would be great. But, it, you know, they're not. They weren't. Yeah, there we go. Burgundy's loyal now. They're still pretty strong. They could definitely help out. Oh, and they still have cores on this. Hmm. We're pretty much done with Naples here. Let's see if I can full annex them. Yeah, very little AE. I can definitely full annex them. And I'll take all of their money. Perfect. All right. We're looking pretty good now, boys. We're looking pretty good. I am satisfied here. Allied the Pope. And now I can... Uh... What's happening here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can ally Poland. Well, what do you know? There's a re-ally on Castile. Um... Okay, hmm. okay. You know, keep your friends close and your enemies and friends closer. Okay, let's declare on Morocco. The main goal here is to get the gold mine. I don't care if Castile or Portugal occupy anything else. And I will call them in and I'll take this from Tunis as well because it's an uh, estate agenda. Second idea group time. Uh, gonna go religious. We don't really need religious except for the culture conversion cost. Ah, you know, how much does it take to convert something now, man? I can't even actually convert anything, so... Yeah, yeah, no real need to do this, but actually, why not go with something that's gonna help me out now? We're gonna get to a third idea group anyway. Uh, quality. Okay, we're done fighting Morocco here. A big portion has been occupied by Portugal and Castile, so I'm just gonna take whatever uh, hasn't been occupied by Portugal and Castile. Lots of AE, but once again, when fighting these guys here, Morocco, Tlumps, and Tunis, we don't really care about AE. Uh, let's get war reps and money as well. And uh, I think that's our war with Morocco done. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, trade company everything here except for, uh, you know, this state. And actually I'm un and I'm actually going to untrade company Figwig right there. Perfect. Now this can be tricky if Aragon doesn't go and beat up the fingers. <laughs> Portugal rivaled me. Well, this game is just full of twists and turns, isn't it? You know, okay, once I deal with these rebels, maybe I can actually make Castile end their alliance with Portugal, and then we can actually fight Portugal, because uh, I do have claims on them as well. Favors with Castile are pretty good, let's curry. Gotta break my alliance with the Pope here temporarily, because uh, Castile will break with uh, will break it with me otherwise. Okay, we're good. Aragon did beat up the Pretenders. France just warned me, I don't know how relevant that is. Man, this this Diplo game, like, like I said in the intro, this Diplo game is really something else here, trying to maneuver these alliances. Wish I could link with these guys, man. It's just not possible. No, Castile still broke it, man. I rivaled England, frick. Yeah, if I unally Austria, yeah, I gotta get Castile because I want to make them break the alliance with Portugal. Ah, oh, this is very nice. Where is it? We're on. Okay, so yeah, another center of trade, pretty much. I know my Merc setup is wonky, but I got land everywhere. <laughs> okay, real money time. Uh, let's activate the Jesuits there as well, along with Encourage Dev. Let's bump it up uh, a couple of times, just like that. All right, now we're good on money. <laughs> Great Portugal. So everyone supports Aragon, man. Yeah, I got to fight these guys for sure. Bring favors with Castile still. Again, man, again, 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 again. I'm getting rid of so much allies. This could embolden Aragon to declare. Yeah, I only have Castile now, dude. Oh, well, this is amazing. Was this even worth it, man? I should have just fought them regularly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fight Portugal either way. Maybe so stupid. Yo, I just remembered we need to do this by 1600, right? Uh, wait, it's supposed to be up here. Yeah, before the Age of Absolutism. Frick. This isn't Iberia. Nor is this. Well, there's Burgundy inherited. Uh, I guess this is good. Okay, let's make Castile end their alliance with Portugal. And they're still threatening. Oh, actually, they're not. All right, let's go ahead and declare on Portugal. They are pretty weak, and I am a tech behind them. And unfortunately, England is actually really strong. But uh, let's get this party started, man. Good thing that Aragon is actually defending itself. Yeah. Ah, um, oh, dude, I totally forgot about all of this stuff that England has. We can actually siege all of it. Yeah, pretty chaotic war, but we're definitely winning this. Uh, tier... Yeah. Okay, France canceled mill access here, so I'm gonna peace out England for uh, Laborde here, which we do need for our mission and uh, war reps as well. Might fight England later on as well for something else. Okay, yeah, way over force limit, uh, losing so much money, no manpower, uh, lots of interest. We definitely need to get a handle on this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two guys right here. And uh, it's time to peace out Portugal. I declared for Porto, and uh, I think we're gonna do something like this in the first war. We'll take the rest later. Sure. All right, nice. Mm, finally. Nice. Helped Castile out on something? I got Fez. I guess that's pretty nice. What I think we should actually do here is now make Castile end their alliance with France and fight France. 
but I need someone else. Me and Castile can't actually beat them. Thing is, I still gotta integrate Aragon too, right? Now look, I have the option to ally Scotland here, right? And you'd think they'd stop supporting Aragon's independence if I do that, but uh, they won't. And I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, either way, let's try and weaken France. Let's make Castile break their alliance with France. There we go. I think I can ally Poland after this. No, they hate me. Broadstorm information just spawned, so I'm gonna activate the Golden Era. These are my lances now, trying to find a way to fight France, I think. I swear by now I would have uh, conquered Aragon. <laughs> Look at everyone that supports Aragon, man. It's honestly getting pretty annoying. Oh. Yeah, man, Diplo game really strong. I'm just running out of time. <laughs> so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna fight France, man, for the reconquest of Barcelona, call in Bohemia, Brandenburg, and Austria, which is really strong, and they got Hungary. So Hungary coming in basically, you know, cancels out Aragon not coming in, even though France would siege Aragon. And I'll get rid of the France and Scotland supporting Aragon thing. So we do outnumber them quite a lot. Of course, France are super strong. I think we should be able to do this. I don't know how easy it'll be, though. Let's see. Just got this awesome guy from somewhere. The event was, uh, he's welcome here or something like that. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll take it. And this is my war with friends done. I'm not even gonna lie, that actually was pretty easy. Gonna give this back to Aragon. I'm gonna take this for myself. War ups money. Boom. Hey, sweet. Uh, so Austria is calling me into this, right? Venice and England. If I fight them, uh, no one will support Aragon anymore. So let's go ahead and accept that. Yeah, they're almost loyal. Ah, only took about... 80 years now let's uh wait we need the minus years of separatism right that was in i should have gone humanist for my second one but then i yeah we need this yeah i just can't get into a situation where i can make castile and their alliance with portugal i'm helping out everyone in all of their wars okay just made castile and their alliance with portugal uh i think i'm gonna declare on these guys immediately yeah let's get it lisbon uh i can do it alone I actually don't even need to do it alone, there's Austria. Now at this very same time, I'm actually gonna dissolve my alliance with Castile, because in the same war, I'm gonna make England end their alliance with Castile. And in five years, hopefully Castile is, you know, as allyless as possible, and we'll hit him. <laughs> yes. Got another good heir, but unfortunately a bad regency for 12 years. And we're almost done with Portugal here. This is pretty harsh, I'd say, so I think I am gonna leave them with Lisbon. <laughs> Or should I take everything? Frick it, we'll take everything. War reps, all their money too. We're not fighting them again. Castile, of course. <laughs> oh, of course they will, my friend. I think it's time to integrate Aragon here. I'm also going to give the nobility the integration policy. Yeah, Diplo and cost minus cost minus 5%, sorry. And if I go ahead and actually release... Um, who's up here? Picardy? Yeah, if I go ahead and release Picardy, I can take this for 15%. And this for some navy stuff, so we'll be annexing Aragon in just about seven years, which is actually really good for a nation of this size. Nice. Is this the Tercios? I think with Austria in general, we can actually take on Castile and France. I just somehow wish the Ottomans would join, even though they're a rival to France, like they wouldn't help out earlier. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declare on Castile here, man. Austria in general would help out, and Austria is like really strong. They got like almost 100k troops over here, uh, passing lots of reforms in the HRE. So yeah, first war versus Castile, planning on taking provinces to release Galicia, Leon, Asturias, and then, you know, continuing with the conquest. Let's do, let's do Zamora, because that is actually what I'm going to take. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and peace out France first. Ooh, Aragon has been annexed. Excellent. Uh, where did their armies go? They're like, right. <laughs> Actually, this didn't come at a really nice time, but uh, yeah. Oh, Bohemia will come in. Dude, we can already start converting the culture here. Um, Do I need to accept them first, though? I can't actually promote them. I already got other ones promoted, so they're yellow, the ones we need to convert. All right, well, let's start doing it. We should probably be doing some dev exploiting in these uh, provinces to actually make them cheaper to convert, right? Because it's times that, uh, you know, it's times the dev or whatever. Okay, we're pretty much done here. So I'm going to take Zamora and this, for example, to release uh, Leon. Then let's take, uh, well... Eh, I don't know. I'm actually gonna take this up here since it's part of my state, and then I'm gonna take stuff down here, which uh, isn't pretty much part of anything. Or actually, I'm gonna do this so I can get another gold mine. There we go. There we go. That's about enough for now. Hopefully, I won't get coalitioned. All right, nice. That's done. Uh, we can go ahead and release... Uh, where are they? Uh, Asturias, I guess? No, but Galicia and uh, Leon, I will go ahead and release. 
so we can get these scores back these scores back asturias only has one in that case yeah now we can also become an empire perfect all cultures auto accepted and uh yeah let's go ahead and core this up huh yeah everything is going great i'm just wondering if i'll have time probably not only 60 years left <laughs> Yeah, so now it's pretty much just chilling and converting away until our truce with uh, Castile is up. And then we fight them again for Leon and Galicia scores. They are, they're pretty big, man. I don't think this is possible. Way too much years of separatism. I still can't even convert like everything that I took from Portugal earlier. Yeah, this is probably going to be a failure, boys. Just letting you know now, but believe. Now there was a, yes, this is what I was looking for. That is exactly what I want. That's perfect. Uh, Yeah, let's do whatever for that, man, honestly. Nice. And there's religious done. There's uh, even more culture conversion uh, discount. Perfect, man. I feel that's all the modifiers we're actually going to get. This is what I'm uh, converting right now. Sh shouldn't they be yellow, the ones that I'm converting? Doesn't matter. This is it. I've been looking at it all wrong. I thought this was the cost. In fact, this is the pigeons, man. It's actually gotten so cheap now. We might have to choose break here or something, man. Yeah, see, you can't convert a province that has separatism, but uh, separatism will decay until uh, 1571. How much separatism is there? Is it the same as unrest? I really don't get some of these modifiers. Now, earlier, that 664 guy was a conqueror, right? And that gives you minus five years of separatism. That was really lucky. This guy obviously isn't. And I know about this. I just don't really care about peeing France. It's not really relevant. Also going to try and become the Curia controller. That gives you a discount, I think. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Okay, time to fight uh, Castile again. Reconquest for... Uh, there we go. Let's do it for Salamanca. This time, no Austria, though. It's so good that we're getting uh, this from the parliament this whole time. Actually, that's a pretty good chance. Okay, I'm piecing out here for this. This is everything that I can take. And boom, that's that war done. Now let's go ahead and uh, start pouring these. And I think I'm immediately going to declare on uh, Portugal here. Uh, as soon as my truce with them is up so I can reset my truce with Castile. Because it's uh, it's until 73. Ah, the Portuguese ones just showed up. Perfect. Let's annex Leon and these guys immediately. This is what we've got by now. Yeah, on vassals, you can do it immediately, man. Maybe I should have done, um, what you call it, Granada, too. Nice, got Leon, too. Yeah, it's immediate on vassals, man. There's no, um, there's no separatism. Okay, truce with Portugal is up. I'm gonna declare on them and not actually take anything. This is only so I can reset my truce with Castile. New day for me, by the way. I've been recording for two days now. Here, six gov reform time. Let's go aristocratic court and let's bomb Toledo and this one. Oh, and I can call in Bohemia. And there's a white piece on Castile that shortened our truce from uh, 1573 to 1568. So five years off. Nice. Okay, let's just white piece Portugal too, because I don't really want anything here. Oh my god, thank god we don't have to fight France. We're actually, we're allied to the Ottomans. We could just make them break that alliance. Yeah, Diplo game is so good this run, bro. Yeah, see, the Ottomans are threatening to break that alliance. They won't break it while I'm at war, but uh, as soon as they peace out, I'll make them break this. And there's a white piece. Wait. How much war score can I get with England here? Can I make them break the alliance with Castile? I probably can. And there's the peace out on England. I even occupied London. Uh, boom, just like that. And let's peace out Portugal. I'll make them do the same with Castile, honestly. There we go. Now Castile is allyless and we'll declare on them in uh, just three years. This is what it's looking like right now, man. <laughs> uh, boys. Actually, it's not really 1600, is it? It's like 1600 and then 120 months, which is 10 years. So it's 1610, realistically. And I can delay the spawning of absolutism. How was that? By delaying global trade. By not having a center of... Wait, by not having my main trade node in the most powerful trade node? I don't know how it was. Uh, it's so good that this keeps showing up, man. Uh, yeah. The thing is, it's not the cost. <laughs> it's the time and the... In the years of separatism, man. Yeah, look at this. I still can't convert La Mancha because it has separatism until 1581, right? So, yeah, maybe I should gun it for admin 14 here and then go for humanist. But that's like, actually, it's the second one. Frick. Actually got to that super fast with a level 3 advisor and a 50 admin event. Excellent. Uh, admin 14, we're going to go humanist for this right here. The minus 10 years of separatism. All right, truce with Castile is up. I still think we need like two or three more wars with them, man. And their colonies are going to be so annoying. I can't get war score here. Either way, let's declare for uh, Granada, for example. There we go. Call in Genoa, sure. Ah! Oh. <laughs> let's see it. Oh, <laughs> 
That is actually so massive. The Warrior of the Ottomans in it, because historically they were in it. Um, yeah, not not getting involved in that, bruh. No way. Wait, what? I just got that achievement. It just popped up over here. You guys can't see it because I'm only recording you four, but... <laughs> okay, bask in glory. Starting as Navarra, ensure that most of Iberia is Basque culture before the age of absolutism. Most of it. I thought it was all of it. There it is. Well, anticlimactic, but... <laughs> Yay? What the frick? I swear it was always all of it, man. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should learn to read a little bit. Most of Iberia? I swear it wasn't most. I swear it was all. <laughs> uh, well then, in that case, this achievement isn't that hard at all, is it? I mean, it's still pretty hard, but there you go. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Let me peace out and we'll do the outro, man. Uh, I'm actually really satisfied, but slightly unsatisfied as well. Yeah, in that case, there's no reason to stay in this. I'll just peace out for that. There we go. <laughs> we landlocked Castile. We don't even, uh... Don't even need humanists. But uh, yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Navarra in this one province right here. A very, very difficult nation. Probably one of the hardest starts in Europe, Uh, you know, according to what people say. Like I said at the start, I really haven't played Navarra in so long. I tried it five or six years ago for this achievement before I made videos. It didn't succeed, obviously, since I just got the achievement now. But uh, yeah, fairly straightforward start. Allied Castile got some other allies, fought Aragon pretty early, PU'd them. Of course, we didn't get them loyal after about... 80 years because uh everyone kept supporting their independence but uh you know got lucky with uh that little defensive war versus naples right there as well i'll have to admit conquered pretty much everything that naples owned over here didn't expand further into northern italy then ate up clemson in one war expanded over here in morocco in two different wars got the gold mine to help boost our economy after that via various you know diplomatic channels i managed to you know get a pretty strong alliance network even though it sucks Right now, at one point, we were allied with like 10 nations. Got a bunch of subjects as well. Fought Portugal first, then fought them again. Fought France, fought England, fought Castile. Pretty much uh, the alliance situation was not easy at all during this campaign, boys. But uh, yeah, struggled a bit with cash and with main power in the early game. Of course, that's not a problem right now. Making a ton of income. Of course, my uh, advisors are, you know, super expensive. I still have a lot of loans because I wasn't really focusing on the economy too much. I was just trying to, you know, stay afloot so we could keep scaling, keep scaling. But uh, yeah, lot, lots of interest. Uh, very expensive armies, expensive advisors as well. Making nice income from gold. These are the armies, by the way, 29, 4, 12, right about now. Uh, at this point, you know, you should start building up your cannons pretty heavily. With influence, quality, and religious. You know, uh, when I thought the entirety of Iberia needed to be Basque, I would actually replace quality with uh, humanist. So I would go uh, influence humanist religious, you know, for the minus 10 years of separatism so you can convert stuff faster. But uh, obviously, you don't need any of that. Actually, you don't even need any of these right here. You really, you only need... Actually, maybe you don't even need influence, man. I Diplo, I think, would be a much better choice. You don't really need influence to keep Aragon in check. Maybe to annex them faster, I guess. Or if you plan on you know, PUing France through this uh, mission right here. But yeah, overall, a super fun campaign. Uh, built a bunch of buildings as well. Let's take a look at what I've built. Not that many barn kit places, honestly. A couple of churches, a couple of production buildings, a couple of army buildings, I remember building, but uh, government buildings as well. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Navarra and ideas, really good, honestly. Oh, we even have that right there. That's that's actually pretty nice. Lots of culture discounts. But uh, yeah, influence, quality, religious, took humanist, canceled it. Uh, yeah, what else do you want me to say? Pretty nice, unique government reform right here. Took some pretty nice government reforms later on. And uh, right now we're about the uh, number two great power in the world with all institutions embraced. Only 600 dev behind the Ottomans. And uh, this is all we own. Even got the Burgundian inheritance. Even though we gave this up, it was uh, still pretty nice. And uh, yeah, our goal for today was obviously to convert all of Iberia to Basque culture, which is what I thought the achievement was, but it's actually not. It's actually convert most of Iberia. I'm guessing 34 provinces is a one more than half. So, you know, Iberia, I guess, would have like 60, I don't know, seven provinces or something like that. And you need to convert most of it, which I uh, obviously did to a uh, Basque culture. And with that, this challenge, which I thought would be a lot harder and I thought we wouldn't accomplish it, is a dub. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Navarra in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Navarra in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them, and you can become a member today, and join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.